Guys, I forgot to do the briefing today. Uh, as you can see, I'm in uh, Hoi Van Visa. I'm really inside the Kenda Air. So I did already one round on the Kenda. And then I met Edgar that recognized me from Komoot. And then we decided to gather the, uh, to train for the first time the Kenda Air. And yeah, we did already six, seven laps uh, and we will continue because the line of course is not a beginner line it requires some uh, jumping skill the jumps are bigger than you will find on the flow or on the candle line big berms so you need to really manage to have the proper speed in order to clear properly the tables but yeah, it will, it will require some training, but the line is totally fun. And now we are going to ride again. But before that, let's have a look how went the warm up on the Kenda. Hello. It was a stone on wood. It was a stone. After that, the last checks on the bike and I was ready to hit the Kenda here. Then let's have a look on this line. Yeah. Let's see. In the first one I really was too much over and I really went over the bar a bit. Uh -huh. I was too much on the front, I felt it. But the first gap it's it's okay. Yeah. But I would say not so easy. It's difficult to, to use the right speed. Yeah. Let's see. Look at this, quite short we can session it and uh, yeah, yeah. bit by bit find the correct. It's 
speed too slow very slow ay 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 that's really not easy okay third try completely wrong everything I want to clear at least the first one properly because then after the first jump first turn the other jumps then are really difficult yeah, yeah but I think that if you clear first and then also clear nicely that gap after the, the first yeah. then you already have speed I lose a lot of speed on that gap after the Ah, okay. And uh, I think if one doesn't lose speed there, then you have enough to clear the rest, maybe. I really have to force myself to push, to pop the first jump. I have to try. Come on, rest. Eh? Better. Ah, almost. Ah, this is impossible. Ah, better, better, better. After four or five runs, confidence started to rise and I was able to clear Cobra in the first jump. There is nothing better than have a mate who can film you during the run. This will help to see the mistakes and correct them. If you are alone, you can always put the camera on the ground or in a fixed spot with a tripod. This is yeah, 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 okay. this is the correct speed. You see, this will yeah. clear it. Yeah. yeah. Like when I go into that berm over there, I feel like pads start rubbing it ah. because just the whole. I think it's it's not even a ring; it's the whole hub, mm -hmm. and that's not right. On the last runs, I was finally able to clear properly the second day. Oof. 
Yeah. Yeah. Do ask us, you can you can stay here for hours. Yes. Yeah. No yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Finito, yeah. was as expected super nice line and actually I didn't expect to clear most of the jumps already but yeah to really be in the super comfort zone this yeah. will require more time absolutely yeah and I think it's worth taking time and... yeah yeah absolutely it was a great session. Honestly, I was very happy because I was able to clear already the second table, where I struggled the most on the first laps. Great that I shared this experience with Edgar, since it was the first time also for him on the Canary. The next challenge will be to clear the fourth table and of course continue to build confidence on the jobs. I hope you had fun looking the video. And as usual, ride safe, have fun on the Canary and see you on the trails. Super, super. Nice. Nice. Super, super session. <laughs>